uh, Connor Den, you were discussing the operational funding request specifically, which was talking about a buyback program, uh, non-linear buyback program on a uh, on an eighteen month schedule. Uh, do you want to speak speak on that a little bit, uh, or do you want to speak on just at a high level, like treasury management for this unlock die? Uh, um, yeah, know, I don't have anything to say that. specifically on the buybacks. Okay. But I know uh, Maxi Crouton and Dr. Wagme, uh, Bearded, and basically all of the CTT have been working on that. So they can probably speak better on that. Absolutely. Yep. Get them up on stage here. Hey, sir. Hey, good morning. Can you hear me? Good morning. GM. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so that proposal is about really the buybacks specifically. Uh, so we're doing uh, front-loaded buybacks, as we've discussed a couple times now, uh, around a million dollars worth of buybacks over this first month, uh, less the second month, and then it evens out over the following months. Uh, Bearded built a customized like buyback bot that purchases uh, Ghost every four hours using Gelato, and uh, like it finds the most efficient way to purchase the Ghost. Uh, we that is going to be owned and operated by the Dow Foundation, uh, like the directors uh, multi-sig. They will put in more stable coin to fund it, to fund those by, uh, to like keep those buybacks going, and then they can withdraw the ghost uh, to uh, the protocol rewards wallet specifically. So that is what that proposal is about. And then we have uh, some things I kind of to discuss still on it is, you know, we're not going to put all of the stable coin in that. Uh, bot right we have stable coins sitting around uh, so we should try to yield farm with that and then roll those uh, that interest earned into uh, like further protocol rewards so basically we don't just have the funds sitting there like how can we put them to work that's the whole point of closing the curve so we we're working on making some recommendations regarding treasury management uh, both for those funds for the dow treasury funds uh, and then uh like basically the extra funds that we have that are designated for liquidity. Uh, so look forward to recommendations from that on us. Uh, and uh, also probably this uh, curve transition team is gonna put a proposal to like morph into a uh, treasury and liquidity management uh, team that will provide ongoing support uh, from all of this perspective because it's super important. Uh, and look forward to a, a couple proposals outlining like what our recommendations are and then what that team looks like over the next month. Yeah, great job getting the uh, the bot set up. And it looks like, has anyone, if you guys haven't seen it, maybe uh, Dr. Wagme, do you have a link to some of the transactions? It's it's pretty cool. It's uh, It's not just like pulling from one pool, it's pulling from all of the different pools to make sure that uh, we get like the best price with the, the least amount of slippage. And it looks like it's firing off every four hours right now. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. We're doing that to avoid slippage uh, and then using Gelato like to make the most efficient purchase possible just to avoid slippage, avoid people being able to front run the purchases, uh, get the most out of our money from the Dow perspective. So Honestly, I'm not even that sad about ghosts like dipping down like it is. It's going to be more ghosts for us to buy up and use as protocol rewards. And looking for a little bit of like social media support from our social media in inclined crew here. Like we are putting millions of dollars into the ghost token, uh, and I don't think people really understand that. Uh, so the, there's some hype opportunity there uh, if people are interested. Yeah, I mean, we're we're not on our side. We're not going to talk about that but uh, i do agree it's a good thing for to get the word out on but we're not we can't talk about that officially yeah for sure i have i'll work on a full editorial article over this next week after i'm off service about uh being excited about the ghost token basically big yep. things to I uh, I do think it's worth a little bit of feedback from the community on like where our heads are at from treasury management standpoint. Like, do we want like how much do we want in stable coins? How much do we want uh, in non stables? And then if it's non stables, like what are our priorities? Like ETH, Bitcoin, Matic. Uh, those are hard decisions to make, but I think this week kind of proved to us that we need to make those decisions. Uh, we're going to work on like putting a couple different options in front of the community, but. It, it's really helpful just to have feedback on like where people's heads are at. I know like Yannick, for example, 
was like, let's go all ETH. Let's buy ETH maxi. And then that's one side of things. And then alternatively, it's like, well, USDC survived this. Uh, it'll probably be okay. So we can just stay in stables. And I, we probably need some answer that's in the middle and really, really hoping for feedback from the community as we look to put some proposals together. Uh, well, one question I had was, I know we are going to, the DAO is putting some funds towards the quick swap uh, incentives for Ghost USDC. Are those live yet, or are we still waiting for them to set up on on uh, Sigma? It's not live yet. Uh, they told us they'd try to have it Friday, and they did not get it there. Uh, so I'm hoping it's up tomorrow. Uh, I know that many people removed their liquidity uh, from the pool specifically because those rewards were not live as we'd expected. Yeah. So I'm hoping that we see deeper liquidity once that goes live. So ready your ghost USDC for the quick swap pool. Uh, it's quite a bit of ghost rewards that should be available for liquidity mining. Yeah, one one point that the quick swap brought up when we were discussing the different options, uh, I think it was Alexi, uh, one of their one of the quick swap guys. He did say like. It uh, from their from their data that they have. Uh, typically, you need to provide double the amount of incentives to get the same amount of liquidity for a stablecoin pair compared to something like Ghostmatic or Ghost ETH. So, if we're going for the deepest deepest liquidity with the same amount of with a fixed amount of uh, incentives, sounds like from from the, what their data shows, uh, it would actually be better to go with like a Ghostmatic or Ghost ETH pair really just depends, I guess, what our community wants to wants to be in. If uh, if we want to be in Ghost USDC, we can incentivize that. But they the quick swap team did say that you're actually getting kind of less bang for your buck in terms of incentives when you incentivize the stablecoin pairs. Yeah, and I I agree with that. I pulled out all my liquidity uh, from Ghost. Uh, from, from Ghost in general, when we got rid of the Ghostmatic uh, incentives, and I would put a lot back in if we had Ghostmatic or Ghost ETH. So anecdotally, that holds, and I that would also help us de-risk from stable coins as well. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Matt, we're very we're so closely aligned with Matic. You really, and people have Matic when they come on the chain. So uh, it could be if we're looking for a replacement for Ghost USDC, could be an interesting option. But uh, yeah, we need to see what people, what what some of the bigger bigger LPs want to hold, and uh, and kind of tune it for that. I think for now, trying to bolster liquidity makes sense. So maybe sticking with our plan. I mean, if it's going to go live tomorrow, uh, yeah. but uh, I think it's a discussion like worth having. It's really hard to navigate the DAO on this, right? Like. Uh, it feels like a you know the curve transition team is going to make, make a recommendation and probably whatever that prop is will pass. Uh, so I, just really important that people that stakeholders provide feedback to us as we try to get this right. Because mm -hmm. currently with glitter, we're also providing pretty good incentives to the ghost USDC pair. I think it's is it? Let's look it up here. Last time I checked, it was like was it fifteen percent or twenty percent? It's goes, 20 percent because we, we, yeah. we got rid of the the manic option yeah so that's if we are looking to destabilize things uh, in terms of getting rid of the stable stable coin pairs that would be another one that that would be a kind of a, a target maybe we don't want to get rid of it completely but uh if if the dow does some of the lps do prefer ghost matic then we could certainly increase rewards for that. And according to QuickSwap, we'd probably get more liquidity per dollar of, of reward for that pair. I think it also will make sense too, uh, you know, now that the curve is off, I expect Ghost to track like ETH and Matic uh, more closely uh, than it was prior. Yeah. So I, I think we could see less in permanent loss. So it's even more attractive to uh, provide those pairs. True. Yeah, so I think yeah. liquidity is obviously uh, a big discussion topic. And um, should we have like a maybe a DAO forum post where people can 
it would be great to hear different people's opinions on this topic out, outside of this call. So if there are any threads going on about this, uh, I'm not sure if there are, but if there are, feel free to drop them in here. Mm -hmm. Or if not, we'll get one started. Yeah, I finished up on service today and I'm off for eight days. So I will, I'll put together a DAO forum post tomorrow, probably one for liquidity and then treasury. And I just like, put it all in there and like, please provide feedback. Uh, the whole community, we, we need it. But we have a good team. Uh, like Al is doing an amazing job. Uh, and then Maxi Crouton is a DeFi expert. And uh, like we have a, the right people in place. We just want to make sure that we get all the stakeholders input. Cool. So, yeah, on the so related to liquidity, just general treasury portfolio management. Um, yeah, I'm curious to see if, if uh, any from the CTT or just any community members, other community members have thoughts about some portfolio management for what, what we're going to do with this 22.5 uh, million die worth of tokens. Uh, like kind of warning shot, uh, I am asking the uh, Origin Protocol team to like present to us a little bit. They have um, kind of like their own stable coin, which farms like multiple different farms. So it kind of spreads out the risk across many different stable coins um, and uses like blue chip uh, mm -hmm. DeFi uh, processes to yield farm. They generate generally around 5% uh, APR. It is on Ethereum. So if we when we get our DAI, on mainnet, we could put some of that into the origin USD stablecoin uh, to generate yield there. It's like maximally passive. We don't have to like collect. You just like put it in the stablecoin and the yield rolls in. Uh, so look forward to a proposal uh, from them kind of outlining like what their product is and then they can uh, present to us as well. Would the DAO be uh, interested in purchasing some real world assets? Because uh, we were talking about this at the Gachi Lodge and maybe uh, the DAO wants to post up a uh, permanent Gachi Lodge in you know, Panama Canal. <laughs> and uh, T-Bird said he would uh, bring his boat down there and we'd go sailing and spread the word of Gachi. And we'd live in our own little uh, Gachi commune basically. Uh, maybe the DAO might want to fund that. It might, uh, you know, diversify the portfolio a bit. And my Callum said he's going to keep the place clean. You know, Natasha's going to be there, and it'll be a whole, it'll be a whole thing. We can even make like a TV show based on uh, the whole thing, real world gachi. So I got some ideas. I got some ideas for this treasury. <laughs> Doctor Wagner, I am like semi serious. <laughs> No, but we should seriously, honestly, for this treasury, I think all, all opinions do matter. And so if you have some interesting ideas on treasury management, even if you're not one of the big brands like Dr. Wagme, Nancy Crouton, who do have some really great ideas, um, feel free to pitch in. I think we can make this a fun conversation and uh, maybe we might even get some really great ideas out of it that we didn't think of. So. And then kind of reminder, you know, we have 25% dedicated to the Dow Treasury. Uh, you know, we're going to be doing the best we can to use the liquidity funds uh, and protocol reward to generate yield. And then obviously Treasury too, but we still want to fund projects from the community that add and provide value. So like you're saying, I, all ideas are still on the table. Teams that want to come together, provide value for the community, like still put props up. Yeah, well said, exactly. Um, all right. Uh, do we have any? Do we have any uh, last uh, items to cover regarding treasury? Just this high-level conversation we just had. Is there anything else here, Dr. Wagg? Go to Dan. Well, I guess uh, as far as this uh, this die is considered, we're gonna. You guys are going to have it. Uh, it'll be sent to the foundation multisigs, the three of them, uh, on Tuesday. So. We're not uh, on the pixel craft side. We're going to convert our die probably as uh, depending on what the slippage is into some various uh, stables and, and maybe a little bit of Bitcoin and ETH. But uh, whatever the DAO wants to do with that, you guys, the DAO will need to make uh, some proposals because I know that foundation is not going, the foundation multisig is not going to be converting that on behalf.
Yep, I expect some options and a proposal from us uh, over the next week. Right.